So I just got home from Sprouts and I thought you guys could put away groceries with me because that's fun. And I'm gonna actually kind of maybe prep some of the food too. And I thought you guys could do that with me. It is Sunday today. Actually, this was like the first time in a long time that I have not posted a vlog. Nothing like really happened. You guys are so sweet because I just said a few things came up so I wasn't gonna be able to get to it um, for today, last week when you're seeing this. And everything's fine i've just been a little bit like kind of fighting getting sick maybe so i just took it really really easy yesterday i really did like really easy i went to the gym for a little bit but it was super light and uh yeah i just really chilled out the rest of the day i think what it could be is we actually have and a lot of you have reached out too about that and I, again i really appreciate it we have like a big fire going on in california right now in, in kind of the middle part but a little more north we're about two hours or so, maybe even a little bit further away from it. So we're safe in that way, which, you know, thankfully, but of course our thoughts go out to the people that are being affected by this, like truly affected. But having said that, we are definitely not getting the best air quality right now. Like it is really, really smoky outside and not great. <laughs> so, we've just all been feeling it we feel it in our throats my eyes have been really irritated um i think being at the gym too and like our gym's kind of like a big warehouse so we're still very exposed to the outdoors and like being out in it it just kind of like caught up with me and i told them i'm like god i have like a sore throat i feel like kind of like i'm getting sick but i'm not sick and i think that's all it is so anyway and here is a bear yeah um <laughs> yeah so anyway i just took it easy and i do feel a lot better another thing too is we are literally on day like 24 of a heat wave right now of literally our weather has been over 100 degrees for like day 24. it's awful so on top of the bad air like it's you can just you can't see the mountains near us which you normally could can't see any of it um we're really really hot and it's really really smoky so it's not it's not good <laughs> but everything's good here it really is but i really actually took that time just to really chill out and it felt really good so thank you guys for understanding but it's so weird not having a vlog <laughs> it really is um another thing that came in the mail let me start putting stuff away because that's the point here right so you guys already saw this haul if not it was my last haul but i'm gonna put away some of this frozen stuff Gardein. <laughs> I did guys I did I bought more of this I'm so hooked it's bad <laughs> just like get the cold stuff first and then we can chat a little bit more but yeah yesterday I actually got in the mail I was not expecting it so soon I am so excited about it um we actually got sent to us which again so grateful thank you so so much but it's like a huge carport slash um gazebo type thing I mean I guess whatever you want to call it or do with it and I got some of these yogurts too and we are really excited to put that up. One, it's gonna provide a lot more shade for like the animals right now. We've been avoiding outside so much recently, like I said, and uh, one from the heat, one from the air. Hopefully the air can, you know, we can get it a little bit more under control soon and that'll be better, but it would really help with the heat. My other thing is, since it's not like a dome one and it's more of like a flat carport style, I thought it would be perfect for like over our veggie garden too. So I don't know, I think it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be big and bulky, but at the same time, it's gonna be easy to move around depending on the time of year and all that whenever we like need to have it in a certain place and Right now, I'm more concerned of like the animals. They, they have shade, they do, but this will provide even more. And yeah, so I'm excited to get that up. So I'll definitely share that with you guys and like some pictures of how it looks and stuff. So, um, and I'll, of course, I'll link it below, but I'm super excited about it. So yeah, we'll have that coming hopefully soon if Nate can get that up. <laughs> okay, and then the milk. You guys are on my lettuce. <laughs> All right, got my uh, flax milk here, sorry. 
and put that away. What are you doing, Bear? Huh? What are you doing? I think we're good on everything that really needs to be cold. It's good. I got a lot of fruit this time. Sounded good. <laughs> anyway, anything else new to report? I don't think. Got some of these veggie straws for the kiddo. So recently what I've been doing is just taking like my snapware containers and like usually even just leaving the lid off or even like this kind of bowl where it's pretty open. Um, and then my mom, that's so sweet. She, she got this from Wendy's for a salad and she saved it for me to reuse. That's so good, <laughs> but it's plastic, but that's totally fine um, for this purpose. But I have been taking, like getting my fruit prepared and stuff, and I think we all eat with our eyes. And so <laughs> I actually get it like cleaned up and then I'll put it in these containers in the fridge, very like open and just easy to grab. And I feel like when you do that, it actually makes it a lot more appealing and you're more apt to eat it. <laughs> that's the key. <laughs> so here is like some great grapes and cherries. So that's what I'm going to do is, you know what, hold on. I'm just going to give these like a quick rinse. I usually just eat them, let's be honest, but you know, I should give them a little rinse. Um, and then I'll put them in here. So yeah, anyway, I'm excited about that like awning. I hope that it can actually provide a lot of shade for all of us, right? Um, I'm going to put all these in here. Sorry, you cannot see that really. Um, and then these ones too. You know what though? I'm actually pour these out for a second. I do this sometimes too. Just so they do last longer is take like a paper towel and put that at the bottom, especially when you've like rinsed stuff and they're not completely dry. And that'll help, you know, like kind of absorb that extra moisture. They'll just stay better longer, but let's be honest, we're gonna eat these pretty fast anyway. But yeah, then I would just put this um, into my fridge like this. So that way, you know, again, it just becomes really appealing in itself to just want to snack on this rather than the popcorn over there. You look, man, we do what we gotta do. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. All right, same kind of thing. I'm gonna rinse those and put a paper towel at the bottom. Ooh, these look so good. We're kind of funny here. Um, me and the kiddo like the, like, are they purple or red? What do you call these? I call them purple. <laughs> uh, grapes better, and Nate likes the green ones better. I like both, I do, but if I had to pick, I actually like these, they're sweeter. And since the kid likes them more too, <laughs> we win. <laughs> So got some of those. What else could I throw in there? For like the blueberries and raspberries, I could probably put those in a container too. But I kind of like to keep these, maybe I'll put them in here, but they kind of like go bad a lot faster. So I'll probably put a lid on top for those. Oh, doesn't that look so good? Okay, I'm gonna put them actually all in here. Let me rinse these. I just want to eat them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll probably add one of my lids to that just so they last a little bit longer, just in case. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Aside from that, don't I have some cantaloupe I could cut up, but I think I'm gonna wait and kind of get through this first. And then I'll do that later in the week. Hi guys, so it is Monday and actually Nate is outside right now cleaning up a little bit. I just got home from the gym so I'm looking a little ratchet. But um, yeah, he's, he's out there cleaning it up. And I think we're gonna put that gazebo together like I said to you guys yesterday. I'm excited about it, but I'm kind of bummed because like, I don't know, I'll show you in a minute, but like our corn right now, um, and our garden is like completely fried and gone. It really is. And um, cause I'm thinking maybe we will put it over our garden, which I think is gonna be perfect, um, which will help shade it. And it'll still be very hot, but it won't get that direct sun on it. And I think it'll salvage a lot of our veggies because so much of it has just, it's too hot. Um, and it's funny how like a lot of these will say full sun, full sun. Well, they don't mean full sun in Fresno. So, <laughs> you know, anyway, but uh, yeah, just got home picking up a little bit. 
I need to finish. And my mom gave us some of these tea havas. Is that how you say it? Tea java, tea hava. Uh, these black unsweetened teas, they're so good, guys. They really are. Um, but yeah, I gotta put those away. Anyway, I'm hoping we get to that today of putting that together. It's in a box right now. And um, we'll see if not tomorrow then, but he's been out there doing the yards and stuff. And I know it's super hot. And like I mentioned to you guys, it's so smoky like i get like if i show you you can't really tell probably on camera no i don't think you can really tell but there's like no no clouds nothing really it's eh, a little bit a little bit but yeah anyway my workout was good today it was um still feeling it though you know but it was good and so yeah here it is in the box <laughs> Does this make me look weird when I got the mask on? <laughs> should have worn the vest. I should have worn the vest. Um, yeah, so I don't think this is going to be super hard to put together because it's very just like a rectangle, but what do I know? Yeah, it's just super smoky, guys, so you got to <sighs> wear that. But we were just kind of playing out in the garden. Look at, all the, look at all the smoke that it actually captured. I don't know if you can see this. Look at the actual dirt buildup. This can was brand new an huh, hour and a half ago. gross. So yeah, we try not to be out here too much right now, but yeah, it's very overgrown, but you know what? It does work. <laughs> there is still tons of zucchini growing and we just picked all of this. It's crazy. We have gotten, that's why I haven't purchased like any zucchini in like a month now for like groceries. <laughs> We've just been getting so much. I've been taking a lot of it to the gym uh, for them to take home and make something, but they're huge. We shouldn't probably let them go that long. But you know what? They do taste good still. Um, normally, they're just filled with like a lot of water, so they're not as flavorful if you let them go that long. But they're good. We like them. But yeah, this is the same with the, the corn has just been like fried. We did get a few off of it, though. But I did notice like our cabbage is doing good. It's actually starting. And then we also got, um, again, yes, a very overgrown in here. We just haven't been out here much at all. And then there's an artichoke coming. But yeah. Oh, man. It just kind of takes it out of you. Oh, and the piggy got um, some zucchini. Yeah, you got a big one. My goodness. Yeah. Enjoy. Filling up his pool again. That's about a once a week thing. Sometimes twice. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Easy oh, to that's put together. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So you know. Oh damn it! I'm gonna be here all day. <laughs> well, at least that is significantly organized. I've got myself a little handle. Nice. So this is that's actually really easy to put together, even though it looks a little daunting at first with like all the pieces. But it's all like coated by letters, and like the screws and stuff are all organized perfectly. So it's really not that bad. So I think we're gonna get this done pretty quick. So Bumper's doing his yearly shed right now. He's gonna lose all of his hair. And then it'll all grow back, but he does this once a year. Yeah, this is that time I see it all. It's all you're all scrappy. It doesn't happen like all at once. It takes about a week and a half or so, maybe a couple weeks, and it'll happen just like over and over. Like pieces will just come out. <laughs> yeah, does that feel good? Bye, Bumps. Bye. Hello. So it's been about an hour and a half from almost start to finish. We're not quite done, but pretty much. Um, but it's big, guys. It looks good, though. And it, like, literally fits perfectly to where, like, the pig pen starts to our house. The only thing we're going to have to, like, be careful of, um, once we get the, like, feet on it and stuff completely, we might put some kind of, like piece of foam or something like on that bar up there so because I mean obviously it's still gonna shake a little bit from like wind and stuff um and if it hits the windows they will shatter so um that's the only thing but I like it yeah. it looks good um to put on the top it's literally like you just put these little ties around it so it's pretty simple, except of course, as you go, it kind of gets like tighter and tighter and like a trampoline. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, it kind of can be a little hard. It's definitely better with like two people working on this than one. 
And if you're not building it in a tight location, yeah. being able to walk around it yeah. is a lot easier to do. Because now I'm going to get a step stool. Yeah, to just to finish. Because, yeah, he didn't do all the ties on it yet. But just to get it, it pretty much done. But, yeah, so I like it. I like that it does fit, like, perfectly here for now but like we said we could move this it would just be hard to move obviously with one person but if you had a few people it would it's not heavy in that way you'd want four people yeah to each have a side and you can move it but this is perfect so i mean if you're looking for something too that like you'll notice we have cement back here and we got this um put in gosh like a year after we moved in this is like 10 years ago <laughs> but we would ideally love to have like a true patio cover um you'll notice a lot of the houses around here don't have them and that's just something that we've never put the money into because it's quite a bit of money so this is definitely a cheaper alternative i like it I it's cool because it actually matches our house too like the the awning is like the stucco color i was gonna say i haven't looked at it back here i'm only yeah. looking underneath <laughs> Damn, that thing is huge. It is. What is the measurement saying? 10 by 13 or something? Something like that, yeah. It's not bad. I like it. Wow, she's big. Yeah. But that'll be good for the animals too. They have shade, um, you know, along the house and then on the side of the house too. But this will definitely give more. So that's kind of cool. We've got a mess going on. Thank you. So it is Thursday. I had to think about that. I actually just got home. Dog's looking at me like, who are you talking to? <laughs> um, I, he literally is doing the head thing. You know how dogs do? <laughs> anyway, just got home from going by the P.O. box and picking up some Poshmark stuff and dropping off some Poshmark stuff. Um, I have to show you guys this, it's crazy. Um, I actually am kind of bummed, but I'll get over it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I actually just ordered last week, beginning part of last week, I ordered these jeans that I'm wearing right now. I thought they were cute. And like I've told you guys, like I have literally not bought clothes like in store. I don't think, I don't wanna lie, but I don't think um, in months. I literally get everything, including workout stuff. Um, this is from Poshmark too. Everything on Poshmark because one, it's cheap. Two, I'm in that weird stage of sizes right now where I don't know where I'm at and one minute it fits and then the next it doesn't and it's hanging on me, you know. This is all good things, but I just don't wanna really spend a lot of money right now. Having said that, I just ate lunch by the way, but I just purchased these pants and I thought they were super cute. You know, you can't really see all that well. Hey buddy, <laughs> but look at this guys, like seriously, look. Like, I know this is a bad angle here, but I just literally posted this on uh, Instagram, but I can't, like what? I, they just literally come right off. How crazy is that? Like, hello. Like, <laughs> and part of me is like, well, maybe if I just, like now I'm trying to salvage them. That's <laughs> how can I make these fit is what I'm trying to do. And that it's just not gonna happen. They're like huge in the legs and everything. Like how crazy. I'm gonna have to go shop again. <laughs> this is not gonna work. But I wanted to share that with you because here's the other part. Two days ago, I weighed myself. Scale has not moved. Has not moved since I did my official weigh-in um, at the gym two and a half weeks ago. So you know what? I told my coach that too. He's like, get rid of your scale. And I'm like, I don't know, well, you know, I mean, I know we all should do that and eh, meh. I got rid of it today. Like, I, I, I'm not going to touch it, and Nate might still want it, that's fine, but I got rid of it. I am done. <laughs> and so I want to share that, because this just happened in like a week, and the scale hasn't really moved, at least on mine. Now, we all know, based on the scale that I use at the gym, like, a lot could have moved, and probably did. I'm just not seeing it on a basic scale, which most of us have, and go by and get really pissed at. <laughs> so, there's that. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> Alright, so after the work, clink, work, clink, clink, these side too. Rotate, rotate, ready, wrap. Next, go. Dance around your feet until the beat start again. Oh, and then do it the same. Magnetize your feel a big appeal.